my previous power out charger and triple a battery review got a great interest from you all so thank you for watching recently powerwall reached out to me again bringing their new high capacity rechargeable double a batteries to my attention and asked me to provide another fair review of their product as you know powerwall doesn't sponsor our channel so what you are going to see is an honest and authentic view of my impression of this new product I organized this review in a few different sections. So without further ado, let's jump right in and start with the unboxing. The batteries come in a neatly packaged and clearly labeled small box. The box contains a quick user guide that looks like a regular business card. Eight AA nickel metal hydride batteries organized as two packs of four. Nickel metal hydride batteries have great capacity, low self-discharge rate, and are more environmentally friendly compared to other types. Let's look at the AA batteries next. The color of these batteries stands out. I don't think I've ever seen any AA batteries in black, and I must admit, they do look good. Since most enclosures I use in my projects are also black, I can leave these batteries exposed without designing a battery cover. I create many applications that depend on batteries and using rechargeable batteries truly makes a difference in terms of helping the environment. Also using rechargeable batteries will save you money in the medium to long term. Each of these AA batteries has 2800 milliamp power capacity which is pretty good for most power hungry applications. These new batteries offer almost three times as much capacity as the AAA batteries we looked at earlier. The model of these batteries was also indicated as SC2800 on the box, which seems to be linked to their 2800 milliamp hour capacity. I will share experimental data on the capacity of these batteries later on in this video. Some of you may be asking, well, how do I charge these batteries? Next, let's address that burning question. One great feature of the PowerAll charger I covered in my previous review video was you can use it with AAA as well as AA batteries. So for charging the new high capacity AA batteries, I can use the same charger. You need to watch the polarity of the batteries while inserting each battery to a charging bay. The charging LED will turn red indicating charging is in progress. When each battery is fully charged, the corresponding LED will turn green. The initial charge time was one and a half hours in my case. The capacity of a battery is one of the most important criteria for design choice. Therefore, I designed my own electrical discharge test to estimate how long these batteries would last. Next, let's cover how I ran these tests and more importantly, the results I got. I used this simple setup where the battery is connected to a 9.1 ohm resistor. Since the battery voltage is 1.2 volts, a constant 132 milliamp discharge current will be drawn from the battery. An Arduino Nano samples the positive terminal of the AA battery as it discharges. At this discharge rate, I would expect the battery to last for just over 20 hours in theory. Of course, this figure will vary and I want to see exactly how close my estimation is. After inserting the battery under test into the housing and powering up the Arduino Nano via USB, the yellow light flashes every second, indicating the start of the measurements. I then start my Python script on the computer, which plots the real-time voltage of the battery as shown. In this test setup, I plot one voltage measurement every 15 seconds. This discharge test indicated the battery's output voltage drops to 1 volt after 17 hours, which is 3 hours sooner than I expected. 
I would say 17 hours of operation with continuous 132 milliamps current draw from a single AA battery is pretty good for most applications. To see the discharge consistency of different batteries, I randomly put a few batteries through the same discharge test. The results show Power Owl has done a great job in terms of manufacturing batteries with consistent high quality. Consistent discharge performance is critical to ensure a good quality of service in applications. So, great job, Power Owl. To wrap up, now let's take a look at a couple of Circuit Apps projects I tried these batteries on. I also tried powering up two of my previous projects with many LEDs using these high capacity AA batteries. Each project required three AA batteries to work. With these high capacity AA batteries, now I don't need a USB wall socket to run my butterfly and the star projects. And the best part is now they're both portable. Fantastic result. I would like to conclude by saying Powerwall has done a great job with these high capacity AA batteries. They not only look good, but have a great capacity and a consistent build quality. All of which are the attributes I look for when assessing the power options in my electronic projects. In case you would like to get these high capacity AA batteries and the charger, I'm including the QR codes to these products. You can also check the description for the hyperlinks. I hope you found my review useful. And as usual, please feel free to provide your comments and questions. And thank you for watching. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date.